Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this Splunk tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your alert in Splunk so that it could send emails uh, from your Gmail account. So guys, in the, this tutorial, we will be using a simple Google account, uh, basically the Gmail account to send emails whenever our alert is triggered. So in, I'm having this Splunk and we are going to go into the server settings. So server settings in system and uh, it will be displaying certain options where we will be selecting email settings and over here we will be filling up a form uh, so the mail host over here will be smtp.gmail.com with the port of 587 this is universal and could be copy pasted the same and in email security we will be using the enable TLS and then the username username is basically the email ID from which the password will be generated oh sorry not the passwords my mistake from which the report or from which the email will be sent so guys one more thing your Google account must be allowing less secure apps to access your email ID else it won't be sending anything so we reconfirm our password and then we have several options which will decide how your how the email will look like uh, we can add several things like adding footers and all uh, placing different things right left or something like that so this is all optional but and this is the minimum requirement for filling up this form so we save it and then uh, in the next step we shall be uh, starting to create a query and set up an alert so let's go to search and reporting app and in this I'm going to use my internal index of Splunk so uh, it's a basic command of index equal to underscore internal and stats count by group group is a field in this data of Splunk and we set it to 24 hours and we search it it might take a while perfect now what I uh, what I'll be doing is to uh, create an alert as per the results so we you save as and the alert we can name it title it as what use case I'm going to employ over here is that I'll simply create an alert oh sorry I mean uh, sim an alert will be triggered whenever the results are greater than zero so it will be more like a schedule search sending us the, uh, rep uh, the results so I am setting up a time of every day every day at 13 was okay so it depends you can set the time as per you want it will be sending uh, as per set and uh, then there are trigger conditions when it shall be con uh, triggered and there is a throttle value Throttle basically tells you after one alert is being triggered when to allow the next alert to be triggered. In add actions, we are going to choose the send mail option in which we are going to write the email ID at whom this mail will be sent. So at this mail ID, the email will be sent whenever the alert is triggered. It could be anything if gmail is allowed to send mail in that particular domain it will be sent it will be sent now here is what uh, we get options of choosing pdf csv and other things so what i have chosen is to get a pdf and a csv along with uh, some message uh, whenever they are just being triggered so guys uh, after a while i got an email uh, from my own id which looked like this having PDF and CSV attached. Let's open our PDF and see how the results are looking. Pretty cool. So, guys, for more Splunk tutorial like this, you may subscribe to my channel and comment down below what else and videos you require. Till then, good night.